What's up everyone, it's Q from Retro Q Gaming, and I'm going to preface this video with a little bit of a spoiler warning, not a spoiler for the Phantom Pain at all really, I don't think I'll mention anything in that, but more so a spoiler for some of the first four Metal Gear Solid games, I'll try to keep the spoilers as small as possible and as few as possible, hopefully I'll be able to avoid some of them completely, but we'll get on to that now in a minute. So, the main reason... I'm getting into making all that, and as you've guessed by the, the title of this video, MGS5 The Phantom Pain obviously released a few days ago, and I'm not going to talk about the quality of the game, so before anyone gets into that, before anyone starts bashing me rating, I'm specifically avoiding that topic, but I will talk about like the quality of the engine, the quality of the graphics, the animations, the mechanics, etc, etc. And they're just, they're, they're really, really good for the most part, I mean, I have had one or two small Ar not arguments, but, uh, you know, small issues, if you will. But for the most part, it's it's just fantastic. So, without further ado, let's look back and compare if you could imagine a full remake, absolute full remake, not just a remaster, of all four main series... Metal Gear Solid games. That'd be Metal Gear Solid 1, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, and Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. Yeah, Guns of the Patriots, isn't it? I think so. Anyway, but could you imagine a full remake of those? That would just be within, in the current iteration of the Fox engine used in the Phantom Pain. That has just blown my mind. I'm a huge MGS fan. I mean, if you've watched anything on my channel in the last couple of weeks, Chances are you've seen my MGS, some MGS1 footage when I replayed through that. You've seen MGS2 footage because I replayed through that about two weeks ago. And now you're seeing some Phantom Pain, Phantom Pain footage, as well as some possible Ground Zeroes footage I threw in there randomly. But just, these games obviously hold a lot to uh, a lot of the people that, that played them and enjoyed them. And they obviously meant a lot to Kojima as well. But when you when you... Just picture some of the old epic moments, sneaking into Shadow Moses, doing some of you know some of the other cool set pieces and all in MGS One. I'm avoiding spoilers here, so uh, if you've played the game, you already know what some of these cool spoilers are. Uh, these cool set pieces, I should say. Same with the boss battles. I'm not going to go into any of the boss battles, but some of them would really benefit from something like that. And they obviously they really benefit from a graphics and technical upgrade. But I mean, experience wise and just I won't say emotion wise, but um, immersion wise. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. It would just be fucking amazing, and it would be brilliant. MGS2. You'd be looking at the same thing. The tanker would look phenomenal. It would look absolutely amazing with all the rain effects, the lightning and shadow effects. It'd be just absolutely brilliant. Uh, the tanker looks like, or not the tanker. A uh, big shell looks like Mother Base as it is. So I mean, that's that's already practically there. And again, some of the set pieces and boss battles in MGS2 would just would be fucking brilliant as well in, in there. What really, really stands in for me now is what I'm gonna I'm gonna mention in the next one. MGS3, Snake Eater. Uh, arguably my well not even arguably, but arguably in my opinion the best the best entry in the the MGS series and as the Phantom Pain has proven, the Fox engine can make uh a jungle look absolutely mind blowing. It looks absolutely brilliant, and considering the fact that a lot of Metal Gear Solid Three takes place in a, a woodland jungle area, it would just be, it would be an absolute. I don't, I don't even know a word. I was going to say an orgasm, but you know, because it'd be an orgasm for your eyes. But I don't know. It'd just be, it'd be like a, a sensory overload. It would just be so brilliant. MGS4, again, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, in my personal opinion, that uh, MGS4, the weakest entry in the first four MGS game series, that's my opinion, feel free to attack me if you want, I don't give a shit, it's my opinion, you don't have to agree with it, but yeah, arguably, it would still make a big a big improvement and a, obviously the jump from PS3 to PS4 wouldn't be as big as any of the, the older ones so it, even though we'd essentially call it still a remake rather than a remaster because it wouldn't just be bumping up the graphics or any of that it would be remade with all the new animations with the new engine with the, just everything completely different I think it it would still 
be really nice and a really big improvement and the experience of all the games would just in my opinion at least anyway <clears throat> i know i'm saying it in my opinion a lot but i don't know it's just kind of a habit of being on the internet at this point because you know how people are but anyway i i just think it would be fantastic i know it's most likely 99.99999 percent never gonna happen that konami would ever remake like i said remake not just remaster any of the the old metal gear solid games uh, i think out of two reasons one they just i they know it would sell a shitload but they just don't really want to put the effort into it and two i don't want i don't think they want to give kojima the satisfaction because you know there's the whole fallout between kojima and konami but we won't we won't talk about that that's well documented everywhere else so i don't know i don't know what to say it would just it would blow my mind to see that it's something i would absolutely love to happen but i know it's never going to happen i'm sure many of you would love it as well and i don't blame you so yeah it's just it, it, it's a bit see the problem is i could say it's a bit disappointing but realistically it's it's kind of not because i mean five years from now let's just say mgs6 comes out in 2020 uh, five years from now i could be making another video saying yeah let's remake five and all the older ones again in this brand new version of the fox engine that's even more amazing so i you know i won't even go into disappointing because they're still very enjoyable and excellent quality games as it is already so let me know in the comment section below what you think about not i won't even say the possibility your opinion your thoughts and opinions on what uh full remakes of any of mgs 1 to 4 in the phantom pains version of the fox engine and what it would be like what your favorite parts of the games you know i what you'd love to see in the the new updated version of the engine because it would blow your mind as much as mine let me know all that in the comment section anyway hit the like button hit the subscribe button you can follow me on twitter details in the description below thank you for watching and i will see you on the rest of the videos in my channel